going on fellow Redliners? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another fairly crisp day here, but warm enough to do a car wash. As you guys probably have seen, uh, actually you guys really like that video, the how to maintain your C8 Corvette car wash or how to avoid having water spots and make washing much easier on that guy. I'm gonna make a follow up video to that like I promise and like you guys have been asking me. So without further ado, I'm gonna take the C7 out. Obviously we did a little switcheroo. I was kind of enjoying the C7 a little bit. So that was the last car I drove. That's why it's down here. Take that guy out, bring the C8 down and start the washing process. And I wanna show you how much easier it is now after I've done that initial car wash to wash this guy and how much more effective and efficient it is to wash your car. So stay tuned for that. I will bring the cars down and I'll see you guys in a sec. Cold start on the C7. All right, now that we got the C7 out, I figured I'd show you guys the underbody of the C8 Corvette. So you can see the huge muffler there. Not a big deal, because we have the active exhaust, so you can see the valve system, right? Uh, let me see if I can, you should see it right there. That's the valve system that basically puts it on the outside valves when you open it up. Um, and then I'll take you guys underneath here and show you there's basically all paneling down here. That is very reminiscent of the C7, except that was where the X-pipe would go. Here, it's probably air conditioning lines and other lines like, you know, cooling lines and stuff like that, that run all the way back here. That is your oil area there. That's where you change your oil. And here's a closer view of the front. I'm just gonna bend right over here. Show you guys, that's the front looking back now. That's the front looking back. That's passenger side. Take one more step back here. And you guys can see that's the front of the car. And yeah, there it is. Let's bring it down. All right, cold start on a C8. Right, guys I want to show you guys before I do anything how hydrophobic this car is and you know like we said last time the whole point is to get the car hydrophobic so I'm just gonna bring the pressure washer out spray this corner down and I'll show you guys just watch how the water beads off and runs off here we go all right here we go that. see that it's like there's no water on here anymore let me just get some zoom I'm gonna zoom in right there. Watch that area right here, okay? Look at that. See that? All right, we're gonna hose down the rest of the car and then we're gonna uh, wash it. All right, so step number two, wash the car down. Water beads off, especially up top here. I hope, I'll, I'll try and get an angle afterward, but everything's just kind of beading within here and then falling right off. It, less is going inside, which is what we were going for. And we'll see the aftermath of that, you know, kind of later on. 
I got my wash bucket here. Fresh mid of soap. Come take a look at how it beads off close to the engine bay here. That was the whole purpose of it. Look at this. You see how it's beading off here? It's falling this way and not going into the engine bay, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm just gonna come around here, do this portion here if I'm cleaning it. See, it pulls away, gathers. You don't get as much going in. It's just evaporating right there. I'm gonna wash it off now and take a look at this. Remember how there's a bunch of fog on it before? No. <laughs> all surface now instead of it being underneath perfect so I'll finish washing the car off and then we'll look inside the bonnet there should be way less water than there was before and the water that's in there you'll be able to just quickly push away with the air all right we're losing light quickly I just want to show you there's a little bit of water on the hood I just want to show you the water bead here we go just standard I'm just gonna soak the whole hood up including the fenders All right, take a look at that. Look at that. And keep in mind that this was only one coat. We can add three, four, five, six coats. You can see just how little water is gathering. We got a little bit of a pile here, just because it's flat. As soon as you bring the air out, that will blow right off. Take a look at the rest of the car there. It's the engine bonnet that I was talking about. See way less fog, way less water sitting underneath, which is exactly what you guys want. The water in here has gone down or dissipated off the corners. That's exactly what we want. And yeah, I'm gonna go bring the blower, blow all this water off, and then we'll pop the engine bay, and I'll show you a like for like comparison with our first um, video and show you guys how much less water. I haven't even opened it myself, but I'm, I know there's gonna be less water in there. So here we go. We'll start from this section right here. Blow backwards, blow forward. can see how little water there's left just little droplets all you got to do wipe that off look at that engine you can see right through that this is all surface water of course much easier I'm gonna finish doing the car I'll come back and I'll show you the first time I open the hood all right we're losing light fairly quickly so you guys can probably tell that was about six or seven minutes take a look at that you can see some water got underneath there. This is underneath uh, from my blowing, but for the most part, I mean, look at this. There's barely any water on this car. And bear in mind, guys, bear in mind that this is one coat. We've only done a single coat. Um, it's only gonna get better as you layer and layer and layer this on. The water beating will get so much better. Look at that. I haven't even touched the car with, with the chamois. You can see some of the water droplets there. I really didn't focus too much on that part. The black parts I, I'll just, you know, usually use a microfiber to clean out some water spots there. Um, you know, some a little bit on the door here. Just very minute stuff. Mirror, perfect. You know, there's some, I probably missed that there. There's some water there. 
some water there. But guys, I'm, sh I'm zooming in to the water to show you guys. That's how good of a job that th that's done. And it's only one piece. This is the first time I've opened up the hatch. You can see because those water marks haven't moved anywhere. Let's take a look. So look at that. Way less water gathering on the sides there. That's exactly what we wanted. There's some water on the engine bay there. Not that much water sitting on the back window. Very, very easy to just blow that off. Again, not that much water here. The water spots are no longer existent. I'm just gonna blow this guy out. I'll uh, come back and show you guys and just maybe all this is gonna take is 30 seconds to blow that out. Like there's not much water there. I'm gonna blow that vertically down to, to get those water droplets off and that's it. You can see that back glass, it's clean. Look at that. Your problems are solved guys. That. And this is one coat. You, I'm gonna layer it again, I'm gonna layer it again next wash, layer it again next wash, and by that time, it's just gonna be like an absolute skid pad of ice. There's gonna be nothing left. So here we go. Literally 30 seconds. You can see where the air pushed everything out there. We got, I missed a little bit of air right there, but I'll just come back and, and uh, push some air there, but that back glass, look at that. Like, like no water droplets there. I'll show you that side of the motor, you know, vertically looking down, not much water here at all. Did the same thing here, I kind of started here, you guys can see, pushed everything vertically down, no droplets of water, look how smooth that is still. And again, you can see on this side, nothing either. Back glass, most importantly, sitting clean, all, if you really, honestly, you don't really have to do anything with that. You can just wipe it if you guys want, if you guys don't want, leave it for the next wash. Um, and you know do it as you as you see fit, but there you go guys. That's that's pretty much it like you know what was once a I don't know I want to say 20 minute engine clean now 35 to 40 seconds with the blower uh, Another 15 to 20 seconds to make call it a minute total to clean this all out dried up and You're good to go like that's it. You're good to go There you guys go and again one coat. I'm gonna layer this again. It's gonna get even better from here on out. Hey, you guys know spring's arriving. We got some Canada geese coming back here. Anyways, let's hop back in the trunk here. Look at that. That took me a whole minute. That's it. One minute. It looks like mint. You know, and I reapplied bead maker, of course. I'm gonna go do the outside of the car to do a second coat, um, and, and there you go. Oh, you know what I haven't shown you guys? Remember how there's water in the front trunk? I've never actually, I haven't opened this, so let's, let's look together. Okay, there's some water there, probably from when I was blowing it off. Uh, there's some water under there. I think you guys can probably see that, but everything else probably came in here. Yeah, you can see it. Water just dripped right down, so. Again, we, we accomplished our goal. I'm gonna go re-bead maker the entire car, um, and, and if there's enough light, I'll close out the video and show you guys what it looks like. I'll go and be quick. Uh, I kinda started the video a little bit too late, but I'm gonna go quickly finish this off, and I'll come back and see you guys to close things off. All right, Redliners, the sun has officially set. I need a haircut. Obviously, I'm waiting for COVID to uh, let the hair cutters open so I can get that, but take a look at this. Uh, if you're wondering why Toretto's out, well, that was my tripod for much of the video. The sun has set, and look at that sheen still. I just, I hope you guys can understand, or I hope you believe me when I say that this is just an absolute mirror. Like, there is no sun. The sun has completely set about 15 minutes ago, and look at that. The engine bay <laughs> looks... Just like I was doing a film production for Chevy as it came out from the factory. It's unbelievable. I'm, uh, and look at this. You know, obviously, it's not going to come across on video, or at least from what I see here on video, it doesn't come across how clean and shiny it is. But, man oh man, does she clean up nicely. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, part two. Again, I went over it with Beadmaker one more time to ensure that, you know, that, that first layer of protection is still there and then we add an extra layer of protection, which will allow for all the water to bead off even easier moving forward. 
just look at the pure sheen on the car. I hope you guys saw, you know, that car was dirty and you can see how, how it was quickly sheeting and beating off the car. And you guys even saw video evidence of how little water remained in, in the engine bay. And we got rid of the water spots. There was no water spots at all to speak of. Uh, and there was very, very little water to, you know, to speak of at all. I'll give you one final look before I close things out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give me a big massive thumbs up on this video. I very much appreciate it. Share this video with your friends and I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Take care. Bye-bye.